morning everyone. Coming on to do an altered kilt pin. I was just about to start it. All I have done is cut a piece of wired ribbon. Um, and it's a gorgeous vintage style um, that I purchased from Scrimpy's Craft Boutique. Um, I did actually buy a stick pin, uh, sorry, a kilt pin kit from Amanda, but I don't really use the kits as kits, I just add them to my stash and make what I like really. So what I'm going to do is just hot glue, I was just about to do it there but I'm going to pull it down a bit, I don't want as big a hem on that. Um, let me see. I just want a small hem at the back. So all I'm going to do is hot glue that down. And just be careful with hot glue that you don't burn yourself like I have done many, many times. Right. And those wee excess bits of wire, I'm going to chop out the now because they will annoy the life out of me. So I'm just snipping just under the material. So just push the wire up a bit. And snip. And then just flatten it out. If it frays a wee bit then all the better. Right. And... I'm going to do the same down the bottom I think. So what I'm going to do is just push this up a bit because I don't want the wire all the way down. So I'm taking off about that wire. Okay. You can see that there I hope. Let me see if I can get something darker. There we go. So I'm taking off about that of wire. It's just by my nail. Okay, so it's probably about what two centimetres? Exactly two centimetres. And just snip it. And it just means I can free the bottom now without the wire jabbing at MD. And I will do the same at the other side just roughly about two centimeters and just snip and then we can free the bottom of it and because it's um, hemmed it might be a wee bit difficult to free it all so I'm just going to get my wee needle here and just pull a few layers down well there's a well there's a way so I do want a decent wee bit of fraying at the bottom and then I'm just yanking at the corner so it comes off so I've got that frayed at the bottom now and just to shove it right up, where did I put it? Honestly, my desk is just like an absolute blooming. I've not got it. What I normally use is my um, my sanding tool, my wee sanding distress hat. It just helps to shabby up the edges that wee bit more but I'll just use this and hopefully that shabbies it a wee bit more there there's another wee thread out so that'll do it um, and then we'll just embellish it so I've got a few wee images here um, oops a daisy
this out the two pixels. Let's see what else I've got. In fact, do you know what one I want to use? I've got one of an angel. I absolutely love. Um, where are they though? I just love this image and if I can find it I'll be a happy girly and if I don't find it I'll cry I know I printed off plenty of them no, I think I'll be crying this morning Nah, there it's there. Yep, that was perfect for this up. I actually used this image on the back of a plaque I made for Betsy Doodle. It's just superb. It's an angel with doves around her and the colours just merge into one. It's so beautiful. That colour has distorted something rotten. Let me just turn that light down. Sorry for moving you about and making you sick, but I'm just turning that light down. Let's see if that's there you go. So that's the proper colour of it. It's got pinks and greys and beige in it, which go perfectly with this. So I'm gonna position it about there I think. But I want some wee appliques and things coming out from it. So I've got a wee box of goodies here. It's got some bits and bobs in it. Too big. Might use that. Too white. I'm a fussy mia. Right, so take me out the now. This is just my wee bits and bobs unit. Do I put it on at an angle? I think I'll put it on at a slight angle and it is ever so slight and it means I can I want that underneath so so what I might do is half that right. and then we'll just paste it under just a wee bit of hot glue on both edges and in the centre. So you can see that's still showing. Not really actually. There we go. Use the noise round about me, but I've got wrappings and whatnot. Right. And I think I'll put the other side further down. I will put it up there as if it's been a cluster. Uh -huh. It's going up there. So we do it. Then, what do I want to add? I don't want them. 
May is that actually. Long bottom. Dunno. That's quite pretty as well. Come off. That's cooking with gas. I've got some nice bits of trim now. So if I place that there, like that, I could run a wee bit of ribbon through there. So let's see what colour I want. Kind of maroon would be good. I also want a contrast in it. I think I'm going to use a darker one. I think I like the contrast of it. So I'll just cut a wee bit off. <sighs> and I'll thread it through. So in there. Yeah. This lace was also from Scrimpies, but um, this was a section I cut off from another project, but as you'll see I waste nothing. So, yeah, I like that. So what I think I'll do, wait a minute, I want to come down a wee bit with that. Is I'm going to cut round the ribbons and use the ribbons, eh, the roses, as my cut off point. So I'll just pull that wee ribbon back a bit and put a wee bit of glue on my rose and fold it in. Then I'll do the same at this side with this wee ribbon. So I'm just pulling it back. I don't know if you can see how it is. Pull it back there. A wee bit of hot glue on the rose. Then basically just let the ribbon fall onto it and give it a wee dab and that just stops it from puckering in the middle. So I'll just peel that off, make sure it's stuck down, and then I'm going to trim the ribbon back first. Go 
this round. So I'm just going on there. And the same with this side, just trim round about where the ribbon is. And there we go. And now it's just a matter of trimming the lace down, which is a doddle, if you've got the right scissors out. Get up your tummy as well to do. Alright, so that bit snipped. Then we just go in here. Is that snipped? Yeah. So then I'm just going in here and snipping in there. And then do the same at this side. Two be snips at the side of the rows. And it just makes it so much prettier. So again, just two wee snaps at the side of the rows. Okay, then round here, two wee snaps at the side of the rows. Away. Just cut off that wee excess bit in there as well. And then in there. And that's it really. You've got a nice wee embellishment now. Right, so to place that on, right, get rid of these because I don't want that. Right, so to place that on, I want that there. And this will be lasking down because I want other stuff going under it, obviously. Then I want that coming along, but I want it shown. So there. And then it means when that's on top, you're still seeing a good bit of it, like that. Yep. So I'm going to just tack that down, and I'm doing the exact same as I've done before, just a wee bit at the rose part, which is at the end. And I'm just making sure that's caught on the end. Get rid of that excess glue that we don't want. And just give it a good push down to make sure it's stuck on properly. Right, and then at this side, I'm going to pull it down a wee bit so that it's basically on the edge. A wee bit of glue there. And I'm just putting one wee bit in the centre there. Just turn that over and give it a good wee rub to make sure there's no any excess glue, which there was. And we've got that now. So that's going on there. That's shown enough underneath there. So it's not hidden. Then I've got... Some other wee bits and pieces here. That's another wee bit of that trim. There's some wee white bits. And there's a wee bird there I might use. Because she's got buds in her. Yeah, I'm going to use that. But I'm going to paint this white because it's cream just now. And doves should be white. In my mind. Right, so... I don't think I'll be putting anything else under there. Let me just have a wee quick check and see. I've got a wee scrap here that I might place under. Just to add another wee bit of interest, but I'm not sure. No, I'm not adding it. Um, and I've got a few of these wee floral from things. I actually quite like them. 
Bring it all up, Damon. Make the round up little. That's a shiny part. Um, and there was another couple of them, I think. Ready to go. Maybe there wasn't any more of them. Yeah, we'll just add these in anyway. So just another wee tart of hot glue. I'm going to put this down now. Just a good squirt of hot glue around the four sides and a wee squadge in the middle. And then just place down where I want it. I think I might add a wee bit of kettle trim to that just to border it. I use a bigger trim. Mm, decisions, decisions. That's too big, it's definitely not that one. Um, I might need to pull out more trim. Or do I want some diamante trim? Definitely diamante. So I'll put that on last though because I'm going to have to put that down with E6000. Right, so embellishing now. I like that relief. I think I might put that in as well. Yep, that's going in. Is that the right way? No, it wasn't. So I'll just position it like that. bird will be up here. Got so much bloody hot glue around about me now. Right, so I need to paint him white. Um, so I'm going to go off, I'll paint him white and I'll come on for the last wee bit. Alright, thanks for watching. Be back soon.